death. Death. Death is the cessation of all biological functions that sustain a living organism. Phenomena which commonly bring about, bring about death include aging, predation, poisoning, malnutrition, disease, suicide, homicide, drug intoxication, starvation, dehydration, and accidents or major trauma resulting in fatal injury. The remains of a living organism begin to decompose shortly after death. It is an inevitable process eventually occurring in all living organisms. As of the early 21st century, over 150,000 humans die each day, according to the encyclopedia. Death, particularly of humans, has commonly been considered a sad or unpleasant occasion due to the affection for the deceased and the termination of social and family familial bonds. Other concerns include fear of death, necrophobia, anxiety, sorrow, grief, emotional pain, depression, sympathy, compassion, solitude, or sodad. Many cultures and religions have the idea of an afterlife and also hold the idea of judgment and reward for good deeds or punishment for sin. Read about senescence. Senescence refers to a scenario when a living being is able to survive all calamities but eventually dies due to causes relating to old age. Read all about that. Animal and plant cells normally reproduce and function during the whole period of natural existence, but the aging process derives from deterioration of cellular activity and ruination of regular functioning. Almost all animals who survive external hazards to the biological functioning eventually die from biological aging, known in life sciences as senescence. Some organisms experience negligible senescence, even exhibiting biological immortality. These include the jellyfish, the hydra, and the planarian. Unnatural causes of death include suicide and predation. Read about physiological death is now seen as a process more than an event. Conditions, once considered indicative of death, are now reversible. Where in the process a dividing line is drawn between life and death depends on factors beyond the presence of absence of vital signs. In general, clinical death is necessary nor sufficient for a determination of legal death. A patient without, with working heart and lungs determined to be brain dead can be pronounced legally dead without clinical death occurring. As scientific knowledge and medicine advance, Formulating a precise medical definition of death becomes more difficult. Read about the diagnosis, signs, signs of death, or strong indications that a warm-blooded animal is no longer alive are respiratory arrest, no breathing, cardiac arrest, no pulse, brain dead, no neural activity. The stages that follow after death are mentioned, read all about it in the encyclopedia. Problems of definition. The concept of death is a key to human understanding of the phenomenon. There are many scientific approaches and various interpretations of the concept. Additionally, the advent of living sustained therapy, a 
the numerous criteria for defining death from both a medical and legal standpoint have made it difficult to create a single unifying definition. One of the challenges in defining death is in distinguishing it from life. As a point in time, death would seem to refer to the moment at which life ends. Determining when death has occurred is difficult as cessation of life functions is, not, is often not simultaneous across organ systems. Such determination therefore requires drawing precise conceptual boundaries between life and death. This is difficult due to there being little consensus, consensus on how to define life. Read all about that. Read about brain death, biological death. You look about death from a legal perspective. Death of a person has legal consequences that may vary between different jurisdictions. A death certificate is issued in most jurisdictions either by a doctor or by an administrative office upon presentation of a doctor's declaration of death. Misdiagnosed, there are many anecdotal references to people being declared dead by physicians and then coming back to life sometimes days later in their own coffin. We have electric shock, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. The leading cause of human death in developing countries is infectious disease. Read all about that. In developing nations, inferior sanitary conditions may lack of access to modern medical technology makes death from infectious diseases more common than in developed countries. We have autopsy, a medical procedure that consists of a thorough examination of the human corpse to determine the cause and manner of a person's death and to value any disease or injury that may be present. It is usually performed by a specialized medical doctor called a pathologist. What about cryonics? Low temperature preservation of animals and humans can be sustained by contemporary medicine with the hope that healing and resuscitation may be possible in the future. Cryopreservation. Life extension. Life extension refers to an increase in maximum of average lifespan, especially in humans, by slowing down or reversing the processes of aging. We have a reperfusion, one of medicine's new frontiers, treating the dead. Location, emotional response. Many people are afraid of dying. Talking about it, thinking about it, planning for their own deaths causes them discomfort. We about society and culture. In society, the nature of death and humanity's awareness of its own mortality has for millennia been a concern of world's religious traditions and of the philosophical inquiry. Read all about that. Read about capital punishment, suicide attack, Euthanasia, consciousness in biology. After death, the remains of an organism becomes part of the bio-geochemical cycle during which animals may be consumed by a predator or a scavenger. Read about detrovites, excuse me, detrovores. Earthworms, work lice, dung beetles, microorganisms. We do a natural selection, extinction, evolution of aging and mortality, religious views, language around death. Read all about death. 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 